So about three weeks ago, traders around the world <laughs> were stumped with an issue um, regarding MetaTrader 4. Primarily, well, only Mac users were confronted with this issue. When Catalina was updated, we unfortunately were no longer able to use any MetaTrader platforms through brokers or through Pepperstone, um, or I think Wine Bottler was another one as well. Um, but like always, when I'm confronted with a problem that affects especially me and my students or the people around me, I always try to find a solution for it. And that is what I'm here today to present you with is a solution for MT4 on Mac. Not only that, a solution which is much better than TradingView in my honest opinion, um, and is going to realistically make TradingView an irrelevant product moving forward. In my, uh, in my opinion, it's gonna make TradingView just an irrelevant product. Um, but stay tuned and you will find out why. All right. A few weeks ago, we were presented with Catalina being updated on Max, which led to us no longer being able to access MetaTrader 4 on Mac computers, um, on iOS. With that being said, the solution that I came up with um, is pretty much going to, well, it, it does replace TradingView. Um, the solution that I came up with not only fixes the problem that we had with MT4 no longer being accessible on Max, but it also creates MT4 into pretty much a web-based platform now, meaning that you can access your analysis on realistically any device anywhere in the world as long as you have internet and as long as you know your credentials to log into what you need to log into. Let me just show you right now what it looks like so you can see, I'm gonna cover up the IP address, but you can see right here on the top left of my iPad, I have a remote desktop opened up. Now what this is going to do is this is going to present MetaTrader. So I now have, you can see based on the icons along the bottom that this is a Windows platform that I'm pretty much logged into. What this is, this is called a VPS, a virtual private server. Essentially, it's an IP address somewhere on the other side of the world. I believe it's UK that it's located and I'm remotely accessing it. That allows you to use expert advisors. It's gonna allow you to run trailing stops as well as a lot of other benefits. Not only that, the most important one is being able to have a solution for MT4 on iOS platforms. And when I say iOS platforms, here's where shit gets crazy. Not only can you now access MT4 on your Mac, but you can access it on an iPad as you see here. I'll show you that it's actually working. You can see my six charts, all my different time frames, my analysis. So just to prove to you that this is what I'm saying it is, you can see my analysis here on the top right. Now, let me grab my laptop for you and just show you the same thing. I'm gonna just turn it here for a second so you can't see the IP address, but it loads up and bada bing, bada boom. We have the exact same analysis that was on MetaTrader on my iPad is now on my computer. And now just one more time to show you that it is indeed the exact same platform. When I log on to here, it'll log me out of my laptop. Boom, disconnected from the laptop, back on the iPad. Now, game changer, game changer, game changer. Are you guys ready for this? You're not ready for what you're about to see. Because this is simply just an app on my iPad, it now replaces the iPad and Apple Store MetaTrader 4 version, which nobody really likes. I've never been personally a fan of it. It doesn't give you the view that you need to see for the analysis, and it just doesn't give you the, it just doesn't give you the bigger picture. It, it is very deceiving on cell phones and on iPads. I just don't like the way the platform looks on the iPads and on the cell phones. But with this solution, I have the same program open here. Let it just connect. I wanna show you the IP address. And boom. So I can now control it 
from my cell phone to adjust those six charts. I can now draw analysis. You can see right there the exact same analysis that was on the computer and on the iPad. I will link in the description below the website that I used to get my VPS and the one that I'm using. I haven't had any issues with them. I've actually been running a VPS just for trailing stops to be able to run trailing stops because you need to have either your computer running 24 hours, five days a week without interruption, or you need to be on a VPS to be able to run a trailing stop. If you don't know what a trailing stop is, put it in the comments below and then maybe I'll make a video on it describing what it is and how to use them properly. With that being said, I will again link in the description below where to get the VPS. Maybe I'll add in some instructions on how to set it up, but I think that they will provide you with that if I'm not mistaken. I can also provide um, the program that I use on my iPad, on my Mac, and on my phone. Just let you guys know what it is in the description. I'll put as much information as possible in the description, but I really hope that this solves a lot of issues for everyone. We now have something that's going to resolve the issue for Max, but not only that, we can now access it on an iPad, which makes it a lot easier and a lot more portable. It makes it easier to travel, to be going around, like if you don't need your computer to be typing stuff and you just want to carry your iPad, you can now access it on your iPad. Not only that, say both of those devices die, you can now access your full MetaTrader 4 um, terminal through your cell phone, which is a game changer. Trading View, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'm not taking this video down. There's a new web-based platform. There's a, there's the new boys in town, all right? With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry if I'm all over the place and my brain's in shambles. I'm counting down the minutes to leave to a meeting that I'm already running late for. I will see you on the next vlog. Like always, share, subscribe, send this to your friends that trade, send this to somebody that trades. If not, just share it, like it, leave a comment below. I love you guys. I will see you next vlog. If you need any help with anything, put it in the comments below and I will try to make a vlog addressing it. Peace. Great. Right.